Hey guys, welcome back to another AMA. I'm here with Gribbly. Yeah, and then we also have a co-host too as well. It's Corbin's your boy, aka Beyonce, you already know. Yup, exactly. So we're gonna switch it up a little bit here today, guys. We have a different co-host here every now and then to make it much more interesting. But first of all, we have a new event going on called League of Heroes. So um, I am Team Defender. Corbin's is Team what? Amazing. Whoa. And then of course, last but not least, Gribbly, what team are you on? Mastermind. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> Masterminds, yeah. I mean, are very positive. They, they don't have evil luck. Oh, that's true. But hey, we... I don't know, how, I don't know where that came from. I don't know what... Where that, where that <laughs> I'm sorry. But all I'm saying, though, we defend your plans. Just letting you guys know. Yeah, Thank and, you. and I'm you. not sure what the amazing do. Yeah. We're just being an amazing at being amazing. All right, guys. Well, we have a bunch of questions from you guys from the community. So we're going to be switching it off from me and Corbin's asking Gribbly. All right, our first question for the AMA this time is, is from Wevern. Is it possible to get clones? The Rec Room Original, Paintball, Dodgeball, and Leech Tag just to be casual players? They'll get pawned in public games when they just want to have fun. Maybe they could have some changes compared to other originals like maybe Laser Tag could be a 3v3 uh, league instead of 4v4 and maybe a shotgun shootout slower to do damage and subtle changes that make a little bit of difference and maybe lock rank Rec Room Originals and low level players until they hit level 30 Something like that. Also, rank rec real too. That's right. Nice. Okay, boy, there's a lot packed in there. So first of all, uh, on the issue of like, hey, you know, if um, you know, you don't want to kind of like interact with you know higher level players and you just want to learn to play a game, um, a really good option is get a couple of friends together and make a private instance. Mm -hmm. Just so go to the room, uh, hit the private button. Um, that'll take you to a private instance that kind of works just like the public room, but you're not going to have like level 50 players just pounding you with um, balls in the head instantly. Yeah. So that's, that's one good option. Um, as for yeah. cloning the rooms, you can do that yourself. So you can actually go to the create menu in your watch. Uh, you can clone a lot of those rooms as the base room. Not all of them. You can't do Rec Royale, for example. Um, but yeah, you can clone those rooms and make modifications with the uh, Maker Pen. It's a little tricky. you got to like uh, mess around with the circuits a little bit and stuff, but you can do it. Um, I think the idea of us doing it is unlikely. Um, but we have talked a little bit about improving the experience of just... Uh, you know, if you're a new player, just coming in and getting match made into, say, paintball or dodgeball or something like that, and just completely getting housed instantly. Um, we don't really have a good solution yet, but it is something we're thinking about, and like, how can we make that a better experience for everybody? So yeah, good question, good suggestions. Um, if you're trying to learn one of the games and don't want to get housed in the short term, use the private instance button. Awesome. Yeah, great suggestion, by the way. Thank you so much for the question. Yeah. That's a lot to cover, actually. I'm a mastermind. Before we get started, I've got to ask you, how's your day been, Gribbly? And is there anything you want to tell the audience out there? Oh, let me think. Um, my day's been good. Busy, but good. I, you know, I like things to be busy. Yep. Um, anything mm -hmm. I want to tell the audience? I don't. I don't have anything special other than I hope everyone's. Uh, hope everyone's doing well out there. Mm -hmm. Um, and hope yeah. everyone's enjoying uh, the League of Heroes and enjoying getting. Oh man. It's super awesome. Yeah, everyone's just everyone's just having a good time, especially like seeing old friends going back into Rec Room again. And uh, League of Heroes is just a big deal, so it's really cool. All right, so this question is from Slat underscore RR. Hi, Harry and Gribbly and Corbin, since I'm here now. Yep. Uh, hope you're doing great. I was curious to know if we could have the ability to scroll through the leaderboards on the projectors. I think it would allow a lot more versatile and allow players to connect more easily. Um, yep. I guess I don't fully understand the question, and I blame Corbin's for that. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, you, the, no. Um, I, so I think you you can page through. So uh, I guess I'm sorry. I don't fully understand the question. Maybe kind of hit us up on the Reddit or the yeah. Discord with a mm -hmm. clarification, because um, you can page through and kind of look through. But maybe you mean like scroll it more smoothly. That's an that's an interesting idea. Hit us up in Discord or send us an, uh, yeah, a we message. Yeah, follow up on that one. We yeah, that definitely up. is a follow up on that one. Um, our next question comes from Clasher underscore underscore. He asks, "I have three questions. I think that's cheating. Three questions. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Speed run. Here we go. One. Instead of just having an all time option on the leaderboards, could you add a daily or weekly option? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. All right. Next question is." <laughs> When can we get more gold laser tag skins? Oh, that's a hmm. Oh, uh, that's kind of a that's a good B boss question. Um, I'll have to take that to him. Uh, I know they're kind of special, so uh, yeah. they don't just come along all the time. But we know people want them, so I'll I'll take that as a suggestion. I'll take it to uh, B boss and his team, and uh, see if he will unleash the gold. Yeah, usually the gold skins are usually for like leagues and sponsorship stuff. So 
if you guys are ever interested in that um, in the future, maybe sign up for those type of games. Justin, yeah, get involved yeah. in the leagues. I think we've got sure. some league questions coming up, don't we? So we'll yeah, to... we definitely do. All right, number three, he asks, do you ever expect to increase the tokens pool for sponsorship leagues? If you don't come first, you will only get a few thousand tokens for participating in three months leagues. People who win Maker Pin Contest gets millions of tokens for each player, which is 10 times the amount that leagues have to share with their players. Okay, yeah, interesting question. So I don't want to make any promises because I don't organize the leagues and I don't want to upset or uh, inconvenience the people who do organize the leagues um, by saying anything that I shouldn't say. But that said, I think it's a good question. Okay, so this next question is from Bo Jiden. Uh, his question is, or her, could sponsored leagues get some more love? When compared to build contests, league winners get very little. Right. Yeah, so I think that's a good question. And actually kind of it's uh, kicking off a bit of a discussion internally about, um, yeah, whether we want to give a bit more support and love to the league. So, you know, for the record, we love the leagues. We love the sponsors leagues. We love the players who get uh, involved in them. Um, we think they're super fun. We see a lot of great streams and a lot of really cool uh, stuff happening around the leagues. So we're big fans of it. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, we'll talk about supporting that a, a little more in various ways. Um, I don't want to promise, you know, 10x the tokens or anything like that. But um, but uh, yeah, we'll see if we can give the, the sponsored leagues a little bit more love because we really do appreciate y'all and um, really love to see the league play going on. So, we, so uh, thank you for the question. Thank you for the suggestion. And thank you for the league energy. All right. So our next question comes from account underscore 93 he asks have you guys ever thought about adding more subscription options at the same time like three months six months a year with a discount saving depending on <laughs> which issues i'm sorry i keep, keep high-fiving gribbly yeah i know <laughs> we have a lot of accidental high yeah we do that a lot um, right, I'll, I'll keep my hands over here how about that oh no you're right, fine that's very natural all right oh so yeah there was a question so yeah. uh different subscription levels different times different mm -hmm. money uh, for those levels. Um, yes, so we have thought about that a lot and it's actually something that we would really like to do. The hold up is that um, not all of the platforms support all of the different uh, subscription frequencies and we, we uh, you know, we, we plug into the platform subscription model. So on, on PlayStation, we use Sony subscription. On Xbox, we use Xbox subscription, etc., etc. And they don't all have the same uh, feature set and support. So we can't always support all of those different things. And we, we want to keep everything consistent because the way we think of it is your rec room account is a rec room account. It works the same everywhere. Um, and so we don't want you to like, you know, if you've got a subscription and then you switch to a different platform and that subscription is not supported, it's going to get weird. So, um, so yeah, good idea. We actually agree with it. And mm -hmm. as soon as all of the platforms kind of like support uh, something that we want to do, we'll add it for sure. Um, but yeah, in the short term, we are limited by what, uh, what our partner platforms support. But thank you for the question. Only five seconds. Oh, too early. Oh, oh. oh. No. 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 I'm panicking. Oh. <laughs> oh. 17, guys. Guys, try to beat Gribbly's score here, guys, that at the Heroes Hangout. That's how masterminds do it. <laughs> masterminds. <laughs> so, Pandora08 asks, will we get a new Rec Room Original thing with the new Hero League stuff? Uh, not a new Rec Room Original, no. I mean, there's a lot of really cool rooms being built around this theme. We're in one. In fact, I think for this AMA, we're yeah. all League of Heroes themed rooms. Mm -hmm. But we're not like building a full from scratch uh, Rec Room Original for it. But good question. Understand the question. But uh, yeah, no, check, yeah. Out all of, check out all of the rooms that have been built there. There's a lot of cool stuff. The next question comes from MightyC13 underscore RR. He asks, will there ever be a video camera added to the game similar to the RC car camera and desktop sharing screen? This would be very cool to have yeah. as something in the maker pin to spawn into games that comes into two pieces, a video camera prop and a monitor prop. Yeah, I think it'd be really fun. You could do some like fun stuff, mm -hmm. game mechanics and stuff like that. Um, I think yes, I can't tell you when exactly, uh, but yes, we, we, we will add something like that at some point. Um, I don't know of a specific reason why we can't do it, but yeah, let me go talk to the, uh, to the maker pin team and see what they think of that. But um, yeah, so it's a good idea, something we'd like to add. So I, I'll say yes at some point. Cauterize asks, would you consider giving PC players the ability to export inventions made of maker pin objects as a OBJ or STL file so players could 3D print their maker pin creations? Yeah, so, um, so yeah, we've definitely considered it and we definitely, it's definitely not something that's out of the question. It's not something that we're gonna do soon. Um, but longer term, I think there are some really interesting possibilities around getting, uh, you know, 
data in and out of Rec Room. I've talked about a little, about this in previous AMAs. Mm. Nothing specific to talk about today. Um, but yes, definitely something we've considered. And um, and I think, you know, looking into the future, I think you can expect some options like that to appear. Yes. Excellent. Thank you so much for the question. All right. Another question comes from Clueless899, yelling at us right now. It says, will there be more <laughs> Rec Rally tracks? Oh, yeah. Okay, so, uh, I mean, look, we're in a custom-made room right now uh, with a Rec Rally vehicle in it. So, I mean, I know the spirit of your question is, hey, Rec Room people, are you going to build more Rec, uh, Rec Rally tracks? No plans to do that right now. We might do it the way we've, we've done it with paintball over the years, as every so often we've done a new paintball map. Um, but we, know, we have no current plans for us to build a new Rec Rally track. That said, everything you need to build Rec Rally tracks is in the Maker Pen and in the palette. And so I'd actually love to hear like from any creators out there, if you're trying to create a Rec Rally track and you feel like you can't do it, I'd love to hear why. Like what, what is the main barrier? Like is there something missing in the palette? Is there some other problem that you got that you just can't get a track going? Because, you know, we'd love to see kind of more community, community made tracks. I think, uh, you know, these buggies were designed so that they'll work on whatever kind of Maker Pen terrain or track that you make. So it should be relatively easy to make tracks. Um, so yeah, so if there's, um, there, I'm sure there's a, a bunch of good community made tracks. I know the uh, buggies versus runners. Is that the name of the guy? Yeah, that, that, that was that was room. Runners. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a that's a hilarious room. Um, you know, so I know there's a, there's some good uh, buggy based rooms out there. I'd love to see more rec rally style race tracks. Um, but if there's some reason, you know, if you're a creator out there and you're like, man, I tried to make a, a rec rally style track and mm -hmm. I couldn't, um, I'd love to hear why so that we can we can patch up whatever those holes are. Commercial Nobody 13 asked, and I would have put the same question. Will we ever yeah. get car skins for the Rec Rally? Uh, yes, it's quite possible. So they, they were definitely built and designed to support skins. Um, so it's really just a matter of uh, talking to the art team and then figuring out when they when they feel like they can support it. Um, you know, hey, look, I would go back to the previous question and say if, if we were seeing a bunch of community-made Rec Rally uh, tracks in the hot list and, you know, people are playing them a lot, that's going to bump it up the priority list to be like, hey, we're seeing these cars used a lot. You know, let's go ahead and make skins for them. Um, so there's probably like, you know, hey, let, if we see a lot of uh, Rec Rally, a lot of buggy-based games out there, we'll, we'll invest some more in making the buggy skinnable. Um, but yeah, definitely from a technical standpoint, they support it. Um, so yes, it is a definite potential in the future. Ooh, that's exciting. I love. Yep. I would love yeah. a fire skin on this. Ooh. <laughs> did, you, did, you, did you know that a fire skin makes a go-kart go faster? <laughs> Yeah. So the next question, guys, comes from Insanity1548. Asks, are there ever going to be a watch skins or customizations? Uh, yeah, that's something we've talked about in previous AMAs. And so yeah, I'll give you probably the same answer I gave last time, which is definitely a possibility, uh, not something we're currently working on. You know, we're still working on the UI and getting all of that kind of updated. And I know there's a question on that coming too, so we'll talk about that in a second. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, customizations are definitely possible. Uh, question is, why is there a big push from Rec Room to shift VR players to the 2D UI menu? I've repeatedly seen many VR players voice their concerns and dislikes towards this new UI. Why not give us a 3D menu that fits with being in VR? Yeah, good question. So yeah, we've definitely heard feedback um, from VR players that uh, there's some issues with the new 2D UI. Mm -hmm. Let me first talk about why we're doing this is, you know, look, Rec Room's a cross-platform game. We're on, uh, I want to say, nine or maybe ten different platforms at this point. Um, and we just can't maintain different UIs for different platforms. So we have to make something that works for everything. Uh, that said, we want it to be as good of an experience in VR as it was in the old UI. Um, so yeah, we've done a, a couple of improvements already. Uh, we've done one, one big round of feedback a couple of months ago. Um, and then we've actually got another uh, project kicking off right now to improve, especially scrolling and the feeling of tapping the buttons to make it feel a lot more like you mm. used to. Um, so yeah, we hear the feedback. Uh, basically, the answer is we're going to complete the tr uh, transition to the 2D UI, but we're just going to keep iterating on it until VR players like it as much as they like the old UI. Uh, there's no reason it can't feel as good. I know it's like, you know, it's easy to think like, hey, you got the, the depth buttons and that's going to like make it better. Um, but I think really fundamentally it's about the feel and how quick you can use it and it just if it just feels natural and it doesn't break your flow. Um, we think we can get there. We're just going to keep iterating on it until the feedback from VR players is like, hey, this is really cool. So appreciate the feedback. Uh, I know that, yeah, definitely some VR players have had issues with the scrolling especially um, and just some of the feel of tapping the buttons. We're just going to keep working on it. Um, but the plan is uh, we can't support, you know, a, a VR UI and a non-VR UI. 
Uh, we need a unified system. Um, so yeah, we're just going to keep working on it to make it better. But thanks for the feedback. I appreciate it. Chawa559 asks, will backpacks ever be used outside of Rec Royale? I think at one point I heard something about plans to put them in the wardrobe. Is that ever happening or will they say exclusively for Rec Royale? Oh, backpacks. Oh, for the time being, exclusively for Rec Royale. Um, I could imagine them breaking out at some point. Um, but yeah, no current plans to do that. I think they're going to be Rec Royale exclusive for the time being. I mean, probably what I've mentioned in the past is that you do have a backpack button in the watch, um, but it's not a physical backpack that mm -hmm. you wear. It just kind of represents the stuff that you carry around with yourself. Like, you know, if you like, you know, like most people carry around uh, pizza in their backpack. So that's, that's, that's pretty normal. Yeah. <laughs> Um, pizza parties. So yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, no plans to bring those uh, those backpacks out right now. All right, thank you so much. And also, you guys are gonna get, like different animals, right? We have like um, a, like a monkey backpack, you know, sort of thing. Uh -huh. So I mean, yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah, that's yeah. a fun skins. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe in the future, you guys oh, will see. Oh, you mean yes, that's right. You mean yeah. There are some avatar items that you can mm -hmm. get that uh, that are backpacks. They don't function, you know, like you can't pull stuff out of them. But yeah, they look like cool backpacks. I forgot about that. Good call, Harry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's there's a few of those. So in the future, guys, there will be some updates on that. Uh, next question is from Hello, my name is, and they ask, Are there any updates planned for the dorm room? It would be nice if we could get, make it uh, nighttime or even move the stuff in the dorm to another place. It would give us more oh, yeah. space to build it. Um, oh yeah, I love this question, and it's definitely it's been on the list for a long time. Um, you know, I've probably talked about this in previous AMAs. Yes, definitely the vision for the dorm room is to open it up to be way, way more flexible, allow you to delete everything, allow you to change the night and day cycle. Um, there's just a bunch of work we got to do to make Ooh. that possible. Um, but man, yeah, definitely high on my, my personal priority list because I want I want the dorm to be way more customizable. But um, yeah, I don't think it'll be too, too long before we let you do that. Um, it's uh, something that we kind of like, we talk about internally quite a lot. And I think it'd be super cool. Like you saw us at the uh, end of last year, we, we kind of did an upgrade to the dorm skin system, mm -hmm. which is like a little bit of an experiment of just like giving people a bit more power to customize their dorms. Um, and we've seen a lot of people really use that system and seem to really, really enjoy it. Um, so that gives us a lot of reason to be like, all right, let's go to the next level. Um, I think, you know, probably in the fullness of time, um, we'll probably give you different dorm room templates and uh, allow you to kind of expand it out a lot more. And um, so, yeah, expect more dorm customization coming for sure. Yeah, I love dorm rooms, guys, and uh, more customization in dorm rooms. Yeah, me too. Dude, that's going to be amazing for the streams and all that too. So, guys, uh, stay tuned for that. All right. Thank you so much for the that's question and Corpins. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have to promote the uh, Rec Room streams, guys. Make sure you guys subscribe. Subscribe, guys, to Rec Room channel. Like subscribe. And subscribe. Yo, like, like and subscribe, guys. Come on. Corbin, but I'm I'm a famous YouTuber. Did you know that? Oh, oh, I'm, uh, my my apologies. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Next question comes from Clasher underscore underscore again. Asks, can we have the ability to customize controls for screen mode? Um, I think so. Yes. Yeah. So. There's actually a bunch of work being done on the touch controls right now. We're mm -hmm. doing a bunch of improvements uh, to make the gameplay better on uh, Android and iOS and on the iPads and the tablets. Um, and then uh, coming up after that, there'll be a bunch of upgrades to the other screen controls. So yes, um, and I think, I'm not sure exactly how deep the customization is going to be, but I know it's a common uh, request and I know the team's aware of it. Mm -hmm. And we are actively working on controls uh, over the next few months. So I'd say yes, that's yes. likely. Oh, um, awesome. Yeah, and if there's specific customizations you want, make a bunch of noise on Reddit, on the Discord, make sure we hear it. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that'll be really useful feedback for us. Yeah, and uh, we, we will include a lot of description too as well. You guys want to reach out to us on Discord or Happy Fox and all that. It will be listed down in the yeah. links. Okay, cool. The final question of what I'm saying here. Mm -hmm. uh, blue underscore DI asked, can we get a chip that makes our controllers vibrate? It would be a great way to make a game way more interactive. For example, in a horror room, you could hear your heartbeat together with your yeah. controllers vibrating. Or while shooting with a heavy gun, you would feel the power of the shot. Ooh. Yeah, okay. that's a cool idea. I think we'll definitely do that at some point. I don't know exactly when, but yeah, I mean, we've uh, recently did the... Um, We've been, been working a bunch on like uh, better interactions with chips and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. We did the interaction volume mm -hmm. recently, which has been uh, been very popular with creators. Um, and so I think, you know, as we kind of move into making more interactive objects, which we're working hard on, um, I think being able to like do some haptics and some vibrations uh, is going to be right there along with custom sounds and everything like that. So yeah, great suggestion. Uh, I'll take that to the team. I think it's very likely.
Well, guys, that concludes our AMA questions for this episode. So if you guys can, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And Gribbly, is there anything you want to, like, say to the community out there? Hmm, let me think for a second. Uh, I don't really have any special message. I just want to say, hey, look, we love you all. We appreciate you playing Rec Room. We love all the feedback. We love all the questions. So please keep them coming. Um, but, yeah, that's it for me other than masterminds what? no way I just want to also say so thank you to Gribbly as always and also co-host Corbin's for being here dude that's amazing work guys smash that like button smash that subscribe button smash yeah. all of the buttons that you see just smash everything there we go thank you guys so much again have a great day guys and we'll see you guys in the next AMA bye guys <laughs> bye Oh, there's a meme yeah. going on, guys. If you guys, if you guys know, if, you, if Gribbly can switch around with Corbin's, we just turn our back and it'll spell out the word mad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Very good. Yeah. yeah. Are you mad now? All right, guys. You can also spell damn. <laughs> no, wait, 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 yeah, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot all about that.